What's up travelers? In this video, we are in Tillamook, Oregon at the Tillamook Creamery. We are gonna go check out how they make their cheese and then we are gonna go to their restaurant and have some amazing food. So stick around. My name's Anthony Harding. This is Tasting Travel. Welcome to the show. We are currently at the time of recording this video at 2,091 subscribers, only nine away from 2,100 subscribers. So exciting. We're on our way to 5,000 subscribers. So if you enjoy this video, please go ahead and subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. And let's get us to that big number. Let's get on with the video. So they had four samples. One of them didn't make it this far. That was the cheese curds. We are going to get some more of those here later in the video. We got their most famous cheddar here. In fact, they just won the award for the best cheddar cheese in the world here uh, just a couple of months ago. But we got their medium cheddar, which is, in my opinion, their absolute best cheese that they have. Their mozzarella and their sharp white cheddar. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the sharp white cheddar and let's, let's go. One of the best things about Tillamook cheese is it has a very, very distinct flavor to it. I've been eating it literally my entire life. I've been sold on it literally my entire life. The sharp cheddar, it's not too sharp so it's not overpower it's just the perfect amount of flavor 
it's really it's everything you could want from a cheese. Now we're gonna get into their mozzarella. This stuff is super soft, uh, very mild flavored. I can't imagine all the pizzas that I have eaten with this cheese on it. And now we have the star of the show, the Tillamook medium cheddar. Hands down, in my opinion, the best cheddar cheese in the world. This is gonna be one of the few things that I miss once I move abroad. Mm. All right, so now we're gonna head on down through the gift shop and into the restaurant area. We're gonna go and find some amazing food, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss that. I still love it. All right, so I just stood in line for about, you know, probably 45 minutes to order my order. We're waiting on it. Man, this place is busy. So remember, if you come here and you're wanting to eat, you're gonna have to take some time. That's just part of the, part of the deal, I guess. Pretty soon we're gonna be getting a bruschetta cheeseburger, some ch uh, deep fried cheese curds, and a piece of chicken bacon ranch pizza pretty excited about that they also have a local soda company called stubborn and soda and i got an agave vanilla cream soda here and oh yeah that's some good cream soda that's one of my favorite flavors all right would you look at this amazing food we've got a fire roasted tomato soup. We've got a bruschetta burger with uh, fire roasted tomatoes and basil and mozzarella cheese and just the works on there. And then we've got the deep fried cheese curds. Oh. Those things are to die for. And then we got our chicken bacon ranch pizza it looks absolutely amazing and then they actually ended up giving us a couple slices of their pepperoni pizza as well what that smell like uh, let's quit talking let's dig into this and let's see if the hype is worth it I'm gonna go with the tomato soup first oh look at that it's got it's got white cheddar cheese curds in the soup. Those chunks of cheese inside of this tomato soup. I mean, that just looks amazing. All right, so let's, let's jump into this. Mm. Wow, that is unbelievably awesome. The tanginess of the tomatoes, it's got a nice little smokiness to it as well. The consistency is absolutely spectacular. With, with the cheese curds in it, it just takes this tomato soup to the next level. Mm. All that is so good. I ended up getting this with the burger uh, instead of fries. It ended up costing me $4 extra to, to not get the fries. Man, I am so glad that I did that. Oh man, that is delicious. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into this burger. I mean, that is just amazing looking. Look at that. We got cherry tomatoes that are fire roasted. We got basil. You got your meat patty. You got the mozzarella cheese on a brioche bun. Oh, man, this is this is what fat kids love. Mm. 
the flavor is absolutely spectacular. It's a little bit dry though. So uh, I think that's why we got this tomato soup, honestly. Mm. Yeah, hands down, that is the way to go. Oh, wow. All right, so we ended up getting uh, two different sauces for our cheese curds here. We got a uh, spicy cheddar chili ranch sauce. And yeah, let's go with that. It's got a really nice thick consistency to it. You don't really notice the spice right off the bat. Uh, it does creep in as you go. It's a uh, really nice cheesy ranch flavor. And then we got their uh, Hickory barbecue sauce here. That would be amazing on some chicken. I don't know if I'm loving it with the cheese. Uh, we'll, we'll try it again just to make sure. But would be definitely amazing on some chicken. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, sweet, smoky. Got a little bit of heat to it. Yeah, it's definitely a barbecue sauce that I would enjoy having on a regular basis. So now, let's move on into this chicken bacon ranch pizza here. Uh, you gotta see this. I mean, it's just, we got a huge cheese pole going on. All that cheese just came off of that slice. So I was watching them make this while I was standing in line. The only reason why I ordered it, they cook the crust first a little bit and then they take it and they sauce it with a bunch of ranch dressing and then they put the toppings on it and they just put handfuls and handfuls of the bacon and the chicken on and then they cook that and then they add onions to the top of that. Then they put more ranch over the top when they serve it and it looks amazing. They also screwed up my order a little bit and they ended up giving me a free order of pepperoni pizza, which did catch my eye because it's got these little tiny you know, little pepperoni slices on it, which are my favorite, the way they cup up like that. I'm not going to turn it down, so <laughs> let's try that out too. Yeah, that's some good pepperoni. All right, so I'm going to get in, eat the rest of these cheese curds. Remember, we are coming close to 2100 subscribers we would definitely appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video if you are driving down the Oregon coast and you want to have a fun stop with your kids or just want to stop and get some amazing food yeah, stop at the Tillamook Creamery you're not going to be disappointed it's going to take some time but you're not going to be disappointed I highly recommend it but I want to say as always eat great food